do our warm ups and just some gentle things today. So come into your mountain pose with those cores activated, supporting your spine, lengthen up through the spine. Keep those feet hip width apart. Make sure your knees go toward your toes, second toes, but not beyond always. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up for mountain pose. And reach your crown to the ceiling with the sitting bones, shoulder blades going down. And just relax the shoulders. Take a moment to breathe, bringing in energy and awareness. Exhaling stress and tension. And then inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level. Stretch those fingertips up, out, and head up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Elbows slightly back to keep the chest open. Inhale, arms out to the front. Keep those shoulders down. And then clasp your hands behind you. Press them toward the floor and lift your heart. Stretch your whole spine. Spread your toes, no gripping. And then pivot at your hips. Exhale, over. Get a good stretch on the whole back of your body. Feel it from the ankles up through the legs, through the hips the whole back of your body. And then with the chin slightly in, bend your knees slightly and work your way all the way back into a back bend, lifting your heart. So head stretching away, shoulders dropping down, and don't forget to keep breathing. Spread the toes, no gripping. Inhale up and release. Take a moment, feel that spine getting a little bit more energized. And again, arms for reaching out, hands to your heart, stretch for the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way. So shift them over one position behind you. Lift the heart and stretch the spine, nice little back bend. Pivot over, exhale, and deepen. And again, as much or as little into that forward position as you need today. Just breathe. Think about the ribs coming maybe a little further toward your legs. Move your chin around. Keep the neck releasing. And bending your knees again. Start at the bottom of the spine and wind all the way into the back bend, lifting your heart. Keep those shoulders and shoulder blades down and the spine opening. Now on an inhalation, come on up. And again, just notice how your body feels today. Lengthen up. Drop the shoulders down. Bring one arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away from the side, stretch. Lean, no twist, over to the side. So keep your shoulders both facing forward, not leaning to the front. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra rib opening. Let this hand keep sliding so you contract a little on this side. Feel that sideways movement in your spine. Inhale up, release that one down. Just feel the difference on the two sides. So yeah, we gotta do the other side. Arm out, onto the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands and slide to the side. Again, make sure that you're looking to the front or slightly up so that you're not leaning forward. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra lengthening. And don't forget to keep breathing, stretching out through your fingers and head. Inhale up, release that arm. Spill the shoulders a couple of times. Get everything moving around in that upper body. Spread your toes, stretch your spine apart, get ready for our twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows, bring the arms by your ears. Stretch the spine apart and turn to one side. Lengthen in the twist and exhale over. <clears throat> Keep the weight on both feet as you de deepen into that. Take a few breaths. Just relax. And slowly on an inhalation, work your way up into that upper body for your back bend. Remember, gentle on your low back when you're twisting. Take a breath. Shoulders down, elbows back. Lift through the chest. 
Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, switch the arms around, again, bring them by your ears. Stretch the spine apart to twist to the other side. Again, weight on both feet as you breathe and stretch and pivot over. <clears throat> Deepen as much on this side as feels right for you today. Spread your toes. Keep the weight on both feet. Keep breathing. On an inhalation, come on up. And lifting your heart, stretch the elbows and head back. Shoulders down, upper body back. Again, just deepen as much as it feels right. Inhale up, exhale around to the center. Arms up, shoulders down. Extended mountain for a moment. Reach the head up toward your hands. Sitting bones down toward the floor. Keep your body straight and pivot at your hips. Come into that halfway position, stretching everything along. Drop into ragdoll, just hanging, or pull in deeper with your hands behind your legs. Get an extra stretch on your back. And then hands to the front, just hanging ragdoll. And again, knees slightly bent, if you wind from the bottom of the spine to the top. Shoulders back and down. Oh, let's do that a couple of times. And don't forget, stretch up through the crown. Back in mountain pose, just take a moment. Feel what your body is telling you today. Hands to your heart. Inhale, lengthening up as you look at your hands, extending them to the ceiling. Pull them back through your back and lift hips over your ankles, chest lifting toward the ceiling, shoulders pulling down still toward your waist. Exhale, keep looking at your thumbs as you bring the hands to your heart. And then pivot over and drag up. Slide the hands up under your knees for your halfway up stretch, lengthening shoulder blades toward your lips. Exhale back down, relaxing and rag down. And then straighten your knees, straighten your spine, bring your arms out at shoulder level, and stretch the fingertips out. Keep lengthening up through the base of the skull, back through the base of the spine, and pivot up. Keep those arms at shoulder level, see how you did. Arms toward the ceiling, bring them up together, and another little back bend. Exhaling hands to your heart, and back into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get there, just feel the spine, and let's bring those arms in. That backstroke for swimming right near your ear, bringing them up and around and down. Feel the whole body move so nothing is static from your feet all the way up through your torso. Everything is working with those arms as you pull them around your back. And then both arms up, stretch one side high, come up on the opposite toe. So you're lifting the heel, the other side of the foot is flat, and you get that extra stretch through the ribs. Lengthen up, shoulder to shoulder blade still toward your waist. Exhale that down, inhale the other side up. Again, really lengthening, getting that opening through the side, through the shoulder, through the armpit and up through the fingers. Exhale down, bring both arms up, stretch high with the fingers, but down with the shoulders. Core active, lengthen through the spine. Palms out to shoulder level, pivot at your hips, swan dive forward, stretch it out flat. And again, drop into ragdoll, just hanging. Pull in even deeper with those hands behind your legs here. Good back of your body stretch. And then hands to the front. And again, knees slightly bent. Work your way up. Shoulders back and down. And release. Turn your toes slightly out. We're going to do another twist. So remember, you want to really stretch that base of the spine, base of the skull apart for that opening of your vertebrae. Bend your knees toward, but not beyond your toes. Hands above the knees, no pressure, just position. We're going to bring the shoulder across toward the knee on the opposite leg. 
an effigy that turn your whole body, hips, ribs, and shoulder and head to the side. So remember, don't just turn your head, the whole body, lengthening through that spine as it comes into its twist. Shoulder coming across toward the knee, sitting bones moving behind you a little bit more. Exhale, turn back to the center, lengthen again, stretch it out. Another exhalation, pull that opposite shoulder across and turn to the other side. Remember, no pressure in those legs, in those knees with your hands, just positioning, giving you that stretch through the spine for that twist, feel it through your whole body. And then back to the center and land again, coming up. Put those shoulders circling. And the arms just releasing. Back in mountain pose, let's do our pelvic tilt. So again, turn the toes slightly out. Knees toward the toes, not beyond. Hands above the knees. Remember, no pressure. Sitting bones are behind you. Crown reaching away from the sitting bones. And then drop into the back. So push the sitting bones way back. Drop the ribs, lift the chest slightly forward, crown toward the ceiling. Nice back bend through the whole back of your body. Keep the weight on both feet, no pressure in your hands, just letting the spine be Tuck the sitting bones down and forward, ribs pulling back as you look down toward your feet, rounding through the whole back of your body. So that whole pelvis really moves, whole rib cage, and pull spine. Inhale again, back bending, get a nice rib opening in the front. Shoulder blades toward your waist. Shoulder blades still toward your waist as you round into the forward position. And exhale, getting those ribs pulling back, that core really working. Another back bend as you inhale. Feel the whole spine deep in it. And again, exhale forward. And inhale back up into mountain pose. As you get back to your standing position, just take a moment feeling that core, the spine, what's going on internally for you, noticing how yoga is working in your body today. And then arms at shoulder level, thumbs to the inside of your palms, fists just gently wrapping those fingers around the thumbs. One up and one down. We're gonna work across, one up and one down. Turn one one way and then the other. Keep pushing out through the fifth, up through the crown, down through the sitting bones, into the feet. And then bring that Rotation into your elbow area. So the fists and elbows, whole forearms are working. Keep pushing out while you're doing it. Whole arms all the way up to your shoulders. Everything in your arms moving. And then really get those shoulders working with it. Forward as the hot fist goes down and then back as it goes up. Get that whole shoulder area getting nice movement. A little kind of self-massage there as you're going through that range. And then releasing that spine and shoulder area from the rotation, only the arms. And then just the lower arms. And finally, just the fists. And then both fists down, spread the fingers out. Stretch out through the fingers, up through the crown, down with the shoulders and sitting bones. Stretch it out a little bit more. Keep your hips over your ankles and push to the side with that upper body. More regular side stretch. And back to the center. And over another side stretch through that rib area. And back to the center. Yeah, are those shoulders doing fine? Great. Shake them out as you bring those arms down. Take a moment and breathe as you get back into mountain pose, hands to your heart. Look at them and inhale, hands toward the ceiling, thumbs coming back. Exhale, hands to your heart, 
Another little rag doll. Slide the hands up under your knees. One more nice stretch through the spine. Exhale back down. Palms together and to your heart. Extend the arms up. Arms by your ears. Separate the hands to shoulder width apart. Everything aligned and extended now. Spread those toes out. Stretch up through your head and fingertips. And we're going to go into our squat just a little bit. So sitting bones go back, knees toward, but not beyond your toes. Pull upper body straight. Just push those sitting bones back behind you. Squat as deeply or not as you want. Remember, be nice to your knees as much as you need to. Take a moment and breathe, stretch it out. Exhale, pivot over, drop into ragdoll. Lift the sitting bones, stretch the back of your legs. Pull in a little deeper with your hands behind your legs. If you like that stretch on the back. And then back to the center. Bend your knees slightly. Bring your arms by your ears. Come back into your chair squat. Arms by the ears, shoulders towards your waist, sitting bones way behind you, knees not beyond your toes, fingertips leading back up. Hands out and down and back into mountain pose. And again, let's give a little shoulder roll, releasing any tension through the arms and shoulders. Hands together. Inhale the hands toward the ceiling. Swan dive forward. Exhale into ragdoll. Hands up under your knees, halfway up, stretch, lengthen everything. And then drop into child's pose on the mat. Coming to the floor for our transition, just relax. Shoulders forward, forehead toward the floor. Hips back, smudge on your heels, this feels right. Remember, you can always pad if you need to for those knees. Take a moment and breathe. And inhaling, sit up, bring your legs out into staff position. Sitting bones slightly behind you, pad back there if you need a little bit more opening. Heels pressing out, toes pulling back, knees up toward the ceiling. Opening through those hips for a little bit, so bring one foot up to the other side, let the knee come in. Remember, no pressure with your hands, just a little extra weight if that feels good today. Getting that outside of your hip, relaxing. This knee and toes still up. You can bring them over to the side if you want a little bit release through that hip pelvis area. Just breathe, relaxing, letting the knee come toward the floor only as much as it wants to do. No pressure, just let it happen by relaxing those big muscles. Take a breath. Those exhalations really help release things, let it go. And then put a knee into your hands or wrap your arms around and pull the leg in and back and forth side to side to get that hip lubricated a little more. Or if you love it, you can bring your leg closer or higher for a little more intensity if you want. And then release that leg Yoga it, noticing what's the difference on the two sides. So yeah, balancing, just as we do always in yoga, working the other side. Foot up to the thigh, knee coming up, up, up over and down. Knee and toes up on that front leg. Let it come down or add a little weight, but not pressure with your hands if you want to. Bring that leg over to the side if that's going to help on this side. Sometimes one, remember, is tighter than the other. As creatures of habit, we often are using our bodies on one side more than the other. So just let things work out evenly in your yoga practice. Take a breath. Tension out. And bring your knee and foot into your hands or pull that leg in. And again, move back and forth from the side to the other side, getting that hip a little bit more warmed up. Take a breath, just release any tension. And then release and bring those feet hip width apart out in front of you, knees and toes up toward the ceiling. 
Pull well, those sitting bones maybe a little bit further back behind you. Bend your knees, bring those heels in near your mat. Feet flat on the floor, knees straight up. So remember, you may need, need to be turning in that whole leg. Make sure that you're not spreading the knees apart. Take a moment there, get that core activated. Hands, palms up beside your knees. Lean slightly back. Feel that core working. So just a little bit back, not too much. Shoulder blades, shoulders toward your waist, toward the floor. And then bring one foot just a little off the floor, or more, or straighten it. Stay on your sitting bones, don't roll back onto your sacrum. Reach through your toes, spread the toes themselves out through the ball of your foot area, whichever position your foot is in. And then bring that down. Sit up and take a break for those abs or stay there activated if you love it. And of course, we're going to balance the body and yeah, do the other side. Stay on your sitting bones, activate that core, we're kind of pulling those ribs toward your spine and up, feeling that core working as you lean slightly back, shoulders down, hands, palms up, and that other foot coming slightly up or more or straight. And again, knee and uh, coming toward your thigh so that back of the leg can get a good stretch too, if it wants to. Spread the toes out through the base of the toes, the ball of the foot, out through the crown as well. Shoulders bow toward your waist. Feel that core working. Lower the leg if that hip flexor is too much for you. And then slowly bring that foot back. Again, staying there or sitting up and giving yourself a little break because we're going to do both feet together. That's going to be a little more intense. So don't go too far. Feet on the floor, knees hip width apart, straight up toward the ceiling, core active, leaning back just slightly, staying on those sitting bones, hands, palms up. And again, both feet off the floor. You can stay there. This is perfectly good. Everything is working. If you want to go a little further, that's okay. Stay on the sitting bones. Don't roll backward. Reach those toes out or grip your toes and take a little bit out of that hip flexor area as you go into the fully extended legs if you want to. So remember that core is supporting your spine. Everything is reaching out through the base of the toes and the crown. Those shoulder blades, wherever you are, are going toward your waist. Shoulders relaxing, breathing, hands out to the front, bending your knees when you're ready to bring them back down, slide the legs forward, release those hip flexors, and take a moment to breathe and relax. And then getting the sitting bones back behind you, back into staff position, We'll dive our dolphin. So bring your right foot to your inner left thigh, knee out to the side, sitting bones behind you. Remember, we want to stretch up through that spine so it's got room to twist. Bend your left leg, heel back by your right hip, no, left hip. And let that hip be a little bit up because we're going to be turning and we want the whole body to turn. So reach up through the crown, down with the shoulders. Exhale, turn over toward that right knee. Hands on your leg or the floor. This hip is up, the whole body turning. Ribs, hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turning toward the knee. And then pull the ribs back. Tuck the chin slightly towards your chest. Bring the forehead down toward the knee as you exhale. Bind under the water. And then face forward, crown toward the ceiling. Keep stretching through the back of your neck and lift your heart as you come up into that backward bend as you lift, inhale into the sun and the sky. Guide your dolphin at your own pace. You are the dolphin. Be as steady and serene as you want or as lively and playful as your dolphin is today. It's getting that whole spine working, your whole lung capacity working with it. Diving under on the exhales, lifting on those nice opening heart back bends on the inhalation. And the next time you come to upright position, pause at the top, exhale around to the center, and release your legs. 
Feel the spine a little bit more activate from that twist and dive. And we're gonna take our dolphin the other way because now yeah, our dolphins like to balance just like our yoga practice does. So bring your foot to the inner thigh of the left foot to the inner right thigh. Right knee bending, keep lengthening through that spine for the twist. This hip slightly up as you exhale to turn. Hips, ribs, shoulder, everything moving in the direction of that left knee. Ribs in, shoulders down towards your waist. Up the chin slightly, forehead exhaling to the knee. Inhale, lifting that heart, face to the top, and stretching through the neck as you come in that back bend, inhaling up. Follow your dolphin, doing what's right for you on this side, lifting that heart as you come up, rounding that whole spine as you go down, tucking in the chin. And then lifting it just slightly as you rise and looking again as you sit. And on the next inhalation, pause at the top. Exhale around to the center, releasing the legs into staff position. Bring the feet to the end of the mat, getting ready to release onto the mat. So keep that core active as you roll down. Just slowly working your way all the way to the floor. Bring your body down. Hands to T position. Palms up or down. We'll just do a little bent knee twist quickly for our final twist. Sitting bones towards your heels. Heels in towards your hips. Press the back gently down and lift the feet off the floor. Knees above your hips. Roll over with the knees to one side and your head turning toward the other. Keep those shoulders, shoulder blades down. And just relax into the twist as much as your body wants today. Exhale any tension. Just allow those knees to come as far toward the floor for that lower back twist as you like. Head turning for that neck area. So remember, personal practice. Do what your back, your spine needs. Just breathe. And then heels toward your hips, roll onto your back. Keep everything aligned and roll the knees to the other side. Turn your head the other direction and again, just deepen as much or little as you need on this side. Knees coming down, lower back twist, head turning, neck area twist, shoulder, shoulder blades on the floor, letting your whole middle back twist. Just deepen, remember exhaling helps to release those ligaments. Rest and relax into it, no pressure, no forcing. And again, releasing heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, bring the feet to the floor, slide the legs out, turn the toes toward each other, and then just relax your lower body. Bring your hands near your hips, Palms turned up, shoulders relaxing down, heart nice and open. Little space under your lower back for that natural curve of your spine. And then just let your body grow heavy. Sink deep into that earth support beneath you and let your body go. Soften your face, move your jaw and let it relax. And just deepen the breath, exhale in tension. And just allow your body to keep growing heavier, sinking deeper into that earth embrace. And let your body go from your awareness, letting it relax. And any thoughts that come to your mind, know that it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. This moment, you can let the thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. Thoughts flowing in and out along with the breath flowing in and out. Just exhaling any tension, exhaling any content of your thoughts. No need to recall the past, no need to plan the future. Just let the thoughts drift without attention. And just allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Let your awareness Find that peace deep within and fill your awareness 
your mind, your body, your being with peace. You want to keep relaxing today, take as much time as you have. If you're ready to activate a little bit more, bring your arms back to T position. Pull those thumbs into your palms, fists gently wrapped around. Turn one down and one up. And rotate one up and one down. Turning each going the opposite direction. Bring that into your elbow area as well and then activating your whole arm in that rotation. And then get those shoulders working with it as well. Giving yourself a nice little massage all the way across the upper body through those shoulders and arms. And then releasing that from the shoulders and the arms and fists. Just let those hands cut gently, spread your fingers apart, shake your whole upper body a little bit along the floor, and then sitting bones toward your heels, draw your heels toward your hips, and your knees up toward your heart. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Nice forward bend across the back of your body, lengthening, breathing, giving yourself that appreciation for your yoga today and the work your body does for you every day. And then head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting them. Look whatever's ahead in your day today. Thanks for joining me.